My next guest tonight is a Christian nurse who is suing the Tavistock and Portman NHS Foundation Trust, alleging discrimination on the basis of race, religion, and philosophical belief, as well as the victimization and harassment. Amy Gallagher objected to attending lectures that were based on confronting the reality of white privilege. Yawn off. Other lectures included a discussion on the basis of Christianity as a religion being racist because it's European. Yes, someone needs to do their history there. A spokesman for the Tavistock and Portman NHS Foundation Trust said, as a trust, we have made a public commitment to work to become an anti-racist organization. Here to discuss with me further, Amy Gallagher. Amy, good evening. Good evening. Thanks okay. for having me. To the, to the non-insane people in yeah. this world, yeah. could you give me a quick summary of what happened? Yeah, so I, I'm a nurse. I'm training to be a psychotherapist at the Tavistock. So I was in my third year of training and I got sent this lecture called Whiteness a Problem for Our Time. Whiteness a Problem for, for Our, our time. time? Yeah, so it essentially said that all white people are racist and it used phrases like white ignorance, white fragility. It's basically critical race theory. That's what it was a, a whole hour. And it wasn't presented as a debate or a theory. It was presented as though this is true. So I responded to this and just simply said, you know, this is an ideology. It's actually not part of clinical psychology or psychotherapy. And we need to be aware that not everyone likes these ideas, which I thought was quite a mild, reasonable response. Um, I got pulled into a meeting after that and I was told that my, essentially my views were inappropriate. Um, and that I needed to do more learning about diversity. Um, educate I, yourself. Yes, educate myself, nice. yeah, exactly. Nice. And I was told, um, so I said, well, my view of not being racist is not judging a person by the colour of their skin, treating everybody equally. Um, and they said, well, at the Tavistock, we see that as discredited and outdated. Yeah, Martin Luther King, <laughs> who cares about him anyway? Anyway, just before we go on, yeah. uh, I'm also joined tonight by Harry Miller, chairman of the greatest political party on earth, the Reclaim Party, and heading up... <laughs> The Bad Law Project. Harry, is being Christian racist? No, of course it's not racist. But this is the problem with our, 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 our modern uh, foundations. They're like the religious fanatics who see the face of Jesus in a slice of toast. These people see hate everywhere. You raise your <laughs> eyebrow in the wrong way, hate. You don't say, you don't denounce yourself as a racist, hate. Hate is absolutely everywhere because, of course, as you said in your monologue earlier this week, hate has become a Ponzi scheme funded by the government, channeled through organisations like Mermaids and Stonewall, and unfortunately, it's then prosecuted by the police who've become the armed wing of the woke. Yeah, is that clear enough, Lawrence? <laughs> I, yeah, no, we run it by. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, Amy, can I ask just on a personal level? Yeah. What, uh, having been through something similar myself, mm. just standing up to, to this thing, yeah. what toil has it taken on you? Oh, my God, it's been, it's been exhausting. So it's been like a year, what, a year and a half, almost two years of internal complaints, external co complaints, investigations, um, and all the way through their complaints procedures, they've just maintained this dogma. They've, they've, they told me that I needed to interrogate whiteness. They put that to me in writing. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Well, they don't know. Whiteness. Imagine like, turning around yeah. someone and saying, you really need to interrogate your blackness. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's really racist. And Why is it OK to be racist to white people, Harry? It's not OK to be racist at all. In why why is it societally acceptable to be racist to white people for some reason? Well, and also, on top of that, particularly Christians, because, yeah. you know, let's not get into the whole spiritual thing here, but mm -hmm. the, the command of God is you're all made equal under God in the eyes of God, so you're yeah. commanded not to be racist. Yes, so yeah. how can Christianity be racist yeah. when, the, when, you know, you're meant to... You obviously have to follow their teachings in order to do it. Yeah, I mean, I think they... These are people who are quite unhappy and resentful and they need a group to scapegoat, and I think they think... They can get away with scapegoating white people and Christians and it'd be seen as kind of moral or virtuous to do that because they think they're standing up to a kind of power dynamic or something like that. But it's not. It's just bullying. Um, and, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty awful. Um, I, I haven't said anything that's unreasonable. They said that I'm not anti-racist enough. So, which kind of implies that you're good. racist, right? Well, no, good. You well, shouldn't. Yeah. You, no one should be anti-racist. <laughs> no, you yeah, I agree. Not racist. Anti-racist just goes. What's the opposite of anti-racist? Is racist. Yeah. So, tell us what you're going to do, and Harry, tell us how the Bad Law Project is supporting Amy. Yeah. So, I'm suing the Tavistock for, good. like, as you said, for racial discrimination, religious discrimination, and harassment and victimisation. They've, since I served court documents to them, they've bullied me further. They gave a speech to all the students saying that I've committed hate speech. Um, they've suspended me, told me that I'm unsafe to see patients. 
It's right. just been harrowing. You do look unsafe. To be yeah. fair. I'm, I'm, spook I'm spooked. Yeah. Um, so I've yeah, we're serving. We've served court documents to them. We're going to be suing them. Um, as far as we know, this is quite going to be kind of a precedent-setting legal case because uh, we've seen quite a lot of noise in America around critical race theory, but not so much here. We haven't. Our politicians have been kind of openly have been said that teaching white privilege is wrong. We shouldn't be doing it. But there hasn't been much action, and there hasn't been any legal action. And the Tavistock is an NHS trust. It's a government-funded trust. This is not just a humanities course teaching different theories. This is a clinical training to work in the NHS. And they're treating this as though it's the truth and you have to follow these ideas. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be... Ta well, we're, we're going to be testing these ideas out in court, essentially, and seeing what the Equalities Act has to say about, about this. Harry? Yeah, so the Bad Law Project, we're looking for those seminal cases where we can go in and fight. We differ from the Free Speech Union in this. If you're a member of the Free Speech Union and you get into trouble, the Free Speech Union will come and rescue you from the mouth of the monster. What the Bad Law Project will do, will go in and slay the monster. That's the difference. That's what we're looking to do, Lawrence. <laughs> I love it! May the fight back begin! Yeah. Right, well, now we must go to a spokesman for the Tavistock and Portman NHS Trust who said, we cannot comment on ongoing legal case. Thank you. Right, that's former police officer Harry Miller and uh, head, uh, head of the Bad Law Project, alongside me, and nurse Amy Gallagher. We're going to win, guys. It's time to fight back.